The Bible also talks about working out your salvation. In the book of Philippians 2.12 It says work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Today we are beginning this operation and we want to do it in the month of July. The Bible in the book of Obadiah 1.17, I want to use that word, I think for time it will help me get to where I want to get to. In the New King James. I want to talk about the levels of deliverance that one must work on. You know, before we read this scripture, the Apostle John made a prayer for an elder the missionary who worked with Paul by the name of Gaius in 3 John chapter 1 2. When you look at that prayer, it's like some of the things or the things that John prayed for for Gaius are, are almost impossible in today's life circumstances. This prayer was made by Apostle John for an individual called Gaius. Gaius was a missionary helper to Paul and to most of the missionaries who went preaching the gospel in most of the parts of Asia. So he says to him, beloved, this was a prayer because John was 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 expressing gratitude because of the help this particular believer was giving to the to the church to the early preachers of the gospel and I want to take this prayer and begin to create a teaching out of it to help us at least achieve deliverance. He says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things. Just write that line, prospering in all things. I want us to pause. This was a man of God. He was praying God's heart, God's desire for every Christian. I'm sure you remember that Jesus came in John 10:10. He said, I've come so that you might have life and have it more abundant. And in the operations of Jesus, Jesus was, was terminating in his ministry operation. He was terminating sicknesses and diseases from people's bodies. He was casting out evil spirits from people's lives. He was terminating the spirit of failure in people's businesses. Peter had failed to catch fish. Jesus showed up. He helped him to catch a lot of fish. He was invited in the wedding of Cana. There was wine shortage. Suddenly, Jesus produced wine miraculously. There were over 5,000 people looking for food. Jesus said, don't worry, we shall embark or engage or trigger a supernatural multiplication. 5,000 people. They received food, they ate. Can you imagine? Food produced miraculously, supernaturally. Can you imagine, saints of God? What are we learning from the modus operandi of Jesus? Truly, Jesus wants the human being to prosper in all things, right? If he healed the sick, delivered those who were demonized, helped those who were suffering economic challenges and made them broke through, restored wine when wine just ran out, 
resurrected, terminated funerals. I mean, in the book of Luke chapter 7, there was a funeral in the city of Nain. They were going to bury the boy Jesus resurrected. Which means our God is anti-suffering. Do I have witnesses? What did I say? Our God is what? What is what? Our God is what? anti suffering. That's why I read a verse in the book of uh, Isaiah, I'm sure it's somewhere in 62, talking about the children of Israel. I was surprised. The Bible, Bible says Isaiah. in their suffering God, God also suffered. Hallelujah. 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 So bringing the matter home here. John is praying for chaos. He said, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things. So prosper in all things. Now you need to understand that though you appear as one one entity, one one person, you are a multi dimensional individual. There is a spirit man in you. Is a complete person. That person, that spirit person, the Bible says one day he shall appear before God to account for everything that happens while that person was still in the body. So inside my body, inside your body, there's another person. You will never experience deliverance unless you understand your makeup. Say to your neighbor, I see you, but I don't see all of you. Tell your neighbor, say, I see you, but I don't see you. There's another you I can see. Amen. I want you to get this. This is very important. The suffering that we all experience, it is because we don't engage correctly to ensure that suffering and failure is terminated at all angles. Are you aware that we just read a verse now? Read the verse. Let's go to that verse that we read. Uh, I showed you something. That verse... Uh, uh, Ephesians 3.16. Let's go to it. Ephesians 3.16. Yes, let's put the spirit in. I want to talk about the inner person and the outer person. When we get born again, it is the inner person, your spirit man, who experiences the rebirth, the quickening. Your spirit man gets reconnected with God, the spirit God. So salvation happens in one part of you. Uh, write that one down. It happens in one part of you, which is the spiritual or the spirit you. When you accept Jesus, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, if a man be in Christ, he is a new creation. It says the old has passed. Everything has become new. So if we can simplify salvation, it is the reconnection of the spirit of a man or the man's spirit. Or the with God. Am I helping you? Am I helping you? That's why you find that this person knows for sure that he or she is now born again. To the extent that this person has been baptized in water. But physical problems, problems of the outside are still there. Do you know what I'm talking about? The person is born again. Before you got born again, asthma was there. You are now born again. You are struggling with us. Am I communicating? Before you got born again, you were deep in debt, experiencing financial problems. You love Jesus. You have given your life to him. You are born again. But you are struggling financially. These are two separate departments. 
Operating by two separate laws. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, Amen. Say, speak, Lord, I'm listening. So, if you don't understand which part of you gets saved and born again, you will be confused. You will be a frustrated Christian. So, the Bible there in Obadiah 170, it says, upon Mount Zion, they shall be deliverance. Hallelujah. Amen. The deliverance that is spoken of there, it is deliverance right it down or salvation from the sin of Adam when you get born again you get delivered from being guilty of the generic sin that came upon mankind through Adam you receive a new entitlement you are declared righteous before God. Though you are not necessarily righteous in behavior and conduct, but you are righteous in your spirit man because your spirit man has been reconnected with God. Am I communicating? That's why now Philippians 2.12 becomes correct. How can the Bible say to me, I must work out my salvation? If I'm already saved, pastors, how can it be? Because that statement will be long. I'm already saved. With salvation must I work? Because there's a part of you that is not saved. Which part is that? Your outward man. Your mind. Your conduct. Similarities that you picked from your parents that are negative. Your character traits. All those things don't get saved. You work it out. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, may I work out my salvation. May I never get tired to work on my life until I become everything that God wants me to be in the name of Jesus. Say, thank you, my Father. Hallelujah. So, Let's now deal with the deliverance so that you, you, you understand. Let me see, let me see those, all those who are born again. Everyone who's born again, you have experienced what is called soterion salvation, deliverance from the sin of Adam. If you die instantly after accepting Jesus, you go straight to heaven. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 5.12, Romans 5.12, sin entered the world through one man. And it came together with death, which is separating of the spirit of the man from God the spirit. And it says this death or the separation passed to all men because all men have sinned. The sin that is spoken of there is the sin of Adam because we are all the offspring of that one first family. It's not Adam. literal sin but it's implicative sin. It means we got implicated by reason of our birth order. As long as you are born of a man and a woman you are born a sinner. Romans 3.23 says all people have sinned Romans 3, 23, and they have fallen it. short of the glory or the presence of God it's because, because of that sin they are detached from God's presence. Verse 24 says but through Jesus they are reconciled back to God. Can you say amen? So because salvation delivers and saves our spirit men from condemnation it means from being sent to hell because it is your spirit that will go to heaven or hell. The Bible says in Roman 8, Romans 8.1 there Romans is 8, therefore now no condemnation no being sent to hell. 
to those who are in Christ Jesus. Am I communicating? Are you learning something now? Are you sure you are learning something? Let me see those who say I'm learning something. So even preachers, if God has given you that urge, that confirmation that you are a preacher, your operation must save the whole person. If you meet a person who is sick, you pray for that person, the person gets healed, and you let the person go. All you did was to save his body, but you left his spirit in hell. You can be very popular and have a big following, but you are only saving body men. You are not helping the people to reconnect with Jehovah. The preacher's number one mandate is to turn people to God. Help people's spirits to reconnect with God the Spirit through the gospel of salvation. A man is a complete entity with different dimensions and sectors. Amen. Amen. So when John said to Gaius, I pray that you prosper in all things. The all things, there is just how the English translates that put. He was saying in all departments of life, Prosper spiritually, prosper physically, mentally, and emotionally. It means be well in your physical body. Be well in your relationship and connection with God. Be well in your physical body. Be well mentally, emotionally, and also be well and prosper in the work of your hands. Have the money that you need and also have good relationships with other people. Experience all around peace and tranquility. That's what he was praying for him. But many of us, we don't understand that even when I pray, which, what, what department of my life am I praying for? We just do what is called misfiring prayer. Oh, I pray for you. May you prosper in all things. Hallelujah. Let's, let's move on with the matter. So we've established that your spirit man is saved. And then the Bible says, work out your salvation. The second salvation or deliverance that needs to happen, write it down. It is deliverance from sin, the sinful nature. All human beings sin. They are not sinners because they sin. We are sinners because we are sinful in nature. Sin is intertwined with the human nature. If you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> you see, you see, you see children, babies, you know babies. Have you observed babies? One man was telling me because he's got he's got he's got two sons. The, 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 two sons. the, the one son is about two years. The other son is just over here. So they fight over things. The one year screams to the two year. Which school did she go to to fight? We are talking about one year. You come to the one year, you take the dummy, this thing that they now start. Ah! We are kala. Which school of anger did she go to? Pastor Neba, which school of anger did you go to? So when we are born, Every human being, you are born with sin active. Sin nature at work. Are you understanding? So you, we, that one we work on. Paul talking about it in Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians 4. I'm sure it's verse number 22. He says you need to take off the sinful nature. The sinful nature nature is influenced to a large extent by things you experience 
at your developmental stages if you are abused mistreated when you are growing as a child you are likely to grow up angry and revengeful ask your neighbor how are you who are you what was done to you when you were growing because those things determine look at what Paul is saying here 1, 2, 3, go he says throw off what? your old what? sinful nature and your former way of life which is corrupted by what? by desires and what? and deception it means people deceive us circumstances deceive us and desires, wrong desires lead us astray he said you must throw off your sinful nature say, say father in the name of Jesus every sinful behavior let's rise to our feet to pray say every sinful behavior every sinful behavior every sinful conduct every sinful talk I now terminate it in the name of Jesus say father as the Bible is telling me now I throw it off throw it off here yes. say I take off anger I take off lies I take off gossip I take off jealousy I take off negative talk I take off oh my God short temper yes are you understanding where we are upon Mount Zion there shall be what deliverance everyone must wake up wake up his deliverance his salvation from these things take your seats take your seats take your seats, take your seats. write this statement down never forget to a large extent it is not the devil who destroys relationships it is not even witchcraft it is wrong behavior are you learning something tell your neighbor it's not the devil but it's you <laughs> So you find that someone now doesn't want to talk to you. Because you borrowed money from that person. You, you promise you are going to bring it monthly. Month end you are hiding. And then the person says, I will never talk to you. Is that the devil? No, it's you. Wrong Wrong sinful behavior. Amen. Amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Okay. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I destroy everything that is of the sinful nature in my life. So please write this statement. Every day, Paul says, I die daily. Jesus says in Luke 9, 23, whoever wants to successfully follow me, must deny himself take up his cross follow me what is to deny yourself it is to resist doing the sinful thing are you learning something here? it's war say it's war the bible tells us something that is scary the sinful habits are stubborn they wage war with us they cause us to do things we are not supposed to do say father have yeah. mercy on me so the second level of deliverance is deliverance from the sinful nature sinful habits that every human being has tell your neighbor you have your sinful habits please there's no, only Jesus did not have them why he was not born of a man and a woman he was born of the Holy Spirit hallelujah so we are being changed to become like Christ say yes Lord in this new month of July I pray for you and I pray for myself that we change from glory to glory hallelujah say Father in the name of Jesus may I not be controlled by my sinful nature. Look at uh, first, first Peter 2 11. Yeah. My God. Let's read one, two, three. Turn to your neighbor. Say hello, temporary resident on earth. Say hello, temporary resident on earth. Why do you behave as though you are permanent here? <laughs> Temporary residents, amen, and foreigners. To do what? To keep away from what? 
They do what? Wage war against what? Your very soul. Your soul is pushed by the sinful nature. Look at it in the NIV. Thank you, Jesus. NIV. Amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Dear thank friends, you. one, two, three, one, two, three, go. Dear friends. Uh-huh. As foreigners and exile. Say to your neighbor, how are you exiled from heaven? You are exiled on earth, but you are heavenly citizen. <laughs> you are exiles. You know what is an exile? It's a person who lives in a foreign country. Because of problems in his native country. So salvation made us exiles on earth. Earth is hostile towards us. <laughs> Amen. So we're exiles. Say hello, exiles. <laughs> Amen. To abstain from what? To do what? To abstain from what? Sinful, Sinful desires. desires. Which do what? Which oh. wage war against your soul. Say so deliverance that way. Holiness. Let's go back to, to Obadiah. Holiness will not be possible until we all shut down the sinful desires and sinful behaviors. Sinful behavior and sinful conduct. It says, but upon Mount Zion there shall be what? Deliverance. Put it in the New King James, please. There shall be what? Deliverance. One. And there shall be what? Holiness. Until you work out strong on making your conduct and your behavior become godly. Talk in a godly way. Behave in a godly way. Treat people in a godly way. Conduct yourself in a godly way. Holiness will be important. Are you learning something? Say Father, Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to be holy. I want to pursue holiness all the days of my life. Say, I now pray that every sinful habit, every sinful behavior that affects my life, I shut it down in the name of Jesus. Pray like you are praying. Sinful behavior, sinful talk, sinful thoughts, sinful conduct, sinful action. Say, Father, I I shut it down. The Bible told us, throw it away. Say, Lord, I throw it away. Rise your feet. And say, Father, I throw off. I remove anger. I remove lies. I remove my God jealousy, laziness. I remove my Father sinful lusts that are affecting me every sinful behavior. Lord, in this month of perfection, my God, seven is the number of perfection. Say, Lord, perfect me. Perfect me. Pray like you're praying. Work in me. Purify me sanctify me whole in my spirit, in my soul, in my body make me pure and holy Lambro Hashana Masaka in my outward man say may I be holy in my conduct holy in my behavior holy in the way I speak holy in the way I treat people holy in the way I behave holy in the way I do things holy in the way I think let me help you in this prayer say Father in the name of Jesus help me to perfect holiness in every department of my life in the following way. Say, Lord, help me to be holy in my behavior in the name of Jesus. Say, help me to be holy in my conduct. Say, Father, help me to be godly in the way I treat other people. Say, Father, help me to be godly in the thoughts I think. Father, help me to be godly in the things and the way I speak in the name of Jesus. Please pray, everyone. Zena lina masakabaya, la prohashena masakana, ye la basukabaya nta masaka, la prokapazata. Say, Father, deliver me from being overpowered and overcome by sin. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Uti, Father, every sinful behavior, let it terminate today. I even pray for those following us on television. Every sinful behavior, I command it to 
terminate in the name of the Lord. Sinful conduct, yes, sinful talk, sinful talk, negative talk, negative thoughts, I terminate them in the name of the Lord. Pray like you're praying. Say, Lord, I'm working out my salvation. Clap your hands and say, I'm working out my salvation now. Yes, Father, I want to change. I want to be perfected. I want to be transformed. Say, I want to be transformed. I want to be changed. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord. Pray like you're praying. Clap those hands and say, Lord, change me. Because I can't walk in your favor unless, Lord, I'm progressively being made holy and pure before you in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says God will not withhold any good thing to those who walk and behave in a godly way. Say, thank you, Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I resolve right now. Take your seat. I resolve right now that I will pursue a godly life. I will work out my salvation. I will work towards overcoming all sinful conduct, sinful behavior in the name of Jesus. Are you learning something so far? Are you sure? Let me see those who are learning. So you work out your salvation every day. Everyone must take a diary. Write down the sinful character traits. Write down the sinful behaviors. Write down the sinful patterns. Because we sin through our mouth. Sin through our mind. Sin through our actions. Three departments. We sin through what? Say after me, we sin through what? Our mouth by speaking what? Negative things. Because if you speak something that contradicts the word of God, that's sinful. The Bible says sin is in all unrighteousness. What is unrighteous is anything that does not line up with the word of God. Say, Father, perfect me in the name of Jesus. Say, perfect my, my talk. Say, make, make me holy. Even in the way I talk about myself, about my circumstances, even when I talk to other people and about other people. In the name of Jesus, are you learning something? We sin in the way we think. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, may all my thoughts and my meditations. Look at how David dealt with this one. Look at the book of Psalm 1914. Yes. 1914. 1914. 1, 2, 3, 4, read. Did you write that verse? Very important for the month of July. Please, I want to, before we read, let's write that verse. It's a prayer. If God is not pleased with you, can he favor you? Hello. Are you learning something? We need to humble ourselves. God. God gives more grace to the humble. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Can we read, please? One, two, three, go. Let the words of my Which means David, David was saying, may, may I not sin with the words I speak? May I not sin with the thoughts I think, the deep meditations of my heart. So to experience deliverance from the sinful nature, sinful habits, you need to continuously pray and monitor your life. And then number three, deliverance, this is powerful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Deliverance from negative heredity. From your parents, you don't just inherit or take on their looks. You also take on their weaknesses. And the genetic constructions that are not so good. Some of you, some of us are short. Did you choose to be short? Say hello, shorty. Did you choose to be short? 
Amen. Hello. The negative heredities. In the genetic construction. Deliverance. From all negative bad habits that are inherited from my biological parents. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, may I be delivered from all. Unfortunately, in the heredity aspect, there are things that are unchangeable. No matter how you can pray, you can pray and roll. You can, salvation cannot change your complexion if, if the, your parents were dark. Your pigmentation, you came out dark. Some they try Brazilian hair. Some of them an occasion as an event. Maybe like for example, the wedding. Very, very high heels. When they walk, it's like they are jumping. <laughs> Now it's time for dancing. I see what sends a parent on it. Tau Patuga, Tau Kamga, Tau Kamga. If we are all to, if we are all tall, there will be Hello. nobody wearing high heels. If you are all tall, there will be nobody wearing high heels. You find that the hill is very, very, is very, very long. For, for the short one, the high hills is like now they are tall. Ooh. We don't just take the looks. Are you understanding? You know, we don't just take we what? The looks, the, the, the face shape, the feet shape, the height. No, you, 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 your father determined how you will look. That is beyond God. Amen. Tell your neighbor, on the looks as kiss, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> on the looks, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> there's nothing we can do. Amen. Hallelujah. But there's something else that you need to fight. The patterning of your life. Right I don't know how that happens. You find that if you are from a family, from parents who never made it in life, struggling will be a hallmark. People get things easy. You sweat. People get married easy. You try the best you can. You try to improve your appearance. You try different eyelashes. The whole year, nobody sees you. It's only yourself that sees yourself. Turn my babe. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every negative patterning that has come upon me, which I inherited from my father 
Some of you, it's like you take this one for granted. If you are born of a father, let me just zero in into your father, the one who gave you the surname, who struggled in life, that that spirit was genetically transferred to you. I'm telling you, if you were born of a parent, let me not say your father, let me be more, more moderate, of a parent who was just full of blundering in life, disorderly, we give you one million in six months, it's gone, you don't even know it. It's negative, I read it. Amen. If you are born of parents who are slow paced in life, they take time to do things. <laughs> and with that slow pacedness, you become somebody's husband. Mm-hmm. That woman is in trouble. Please build for us. I will think about it. Like, like their father until he died. Please build for us. I'll think about it. If you if you you marry a, a man. Now shut in Vota. Whose father always hid money, never gave money. married. But they will never give you money. What are we discussing here? The negative, negative pertinent. Amen. You are married to a woman, your wife. The, the mother of your wife was very lazy. That's why before Shatila was because before you get married, go and study the in laws. Because the wife is very lazy. Now they start with TV. Lift up and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Are you learning something here? Who are you sitting next to me? What are your problems? Tell me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I terminate right now. I terminate right all now. All negative pertinent. All negative pertinent. All experiences. All experiences. Go on, kelo gwende kagi manj. Gantinangu tracer. It comes back. It comes from my producers, my founders. Oh. Say, Father, whatsoever is negative, negative life order, order of failure, order of struggling, order of, 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 of suffering that is repeated in my life, originating from my parents, whether my mother's side or my father's side. I uproot it now. Pray, 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 pray. The Bible says what God has not planted shall be what? Uprooted. Pray like you're praying. Zenali Namasuka. You are praying like this. My God. In life because of heredity, because of negative patterning. I release, I lose myself. In the name of Jesus. Lambrohashana Masaka. Lembra Kapazete Masia Makata. Lembra Kapazeta Masiana. Lapra Kapazete Mayana. Lembra Kapazete Mayana. La proka pazete masita mayana. Le praka pazete kashata maya. Lambra pray like you're praying. Lenda kamazea. La praka pazata. We're going to use the blood of Jesus to terminate, to weaken, to destroy all the negative habits. Ola masuka maya. Zata lene maseke maya. Ma praka zata kamazea. Oshalina masuka maya. Esha. Pakatala basaka.
Zaka, Mambroko Zata Kamaze, Lepra Kapaza. Take your seats. Please, please, this one I want everyone to write down. Mfunasi Pare Paske Lok Bazalo. Bazalone were at war with two forces. And I want you to categorize them so that you don't go everywhere asking for prayer. Instead of asking for prayer, I want you to learn to deal with these things. The number, the, the, the first force that you are fighting is the force of our natural sinful habits. Our sinful habits are not the same. Our ungodly behaviors are not the same. There are people who are so nice. They quickly forgi forgive you if you wrong them. But they tell lies more than Satan. Are you in the house? Our, 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 our characters are not the same. Some are good. They laugh with everyone. They greet everyone. But they are jealous. So jealous. God for umuna wabo. Your prosperity becomes their number one offense. Ask your neighbor, who are you? How are you designed well? What do you have on the inside of you? Everyone. So we, these so sinful we habits, we fight them. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like African men, they like, they like women, African men. A bishop, bishop, like bishop with a big color, a big, um, big bishop in <laughs> um, bishop in skila kila sem bishop. When a nice girl is passing, the bishop almost follows the girl. When Julian for batanya na yakale nge na um bishop adanze. Sinful habits. Im vele so ono de. Tan makola nunga bunja no tule la yakale nunga mwa tsa una lutu wa no kugete we. What I'm saying is Le that you get to know a person over time. Let me make the statement, the statement, statement to those who are aspiring to get married, whether of no fat, no When you get married, you don't marry the looks. Now shut out, shut look. You have to attract and look to my emotion, but you actually marry the character. God for you shut a similar moon. In the Lord, I shall and I will unclean. It's something that will you so because we are both sinful as, as human beings, we are all sinful. You try and just make your differences to life. Amen. Because God designed us to be different. Hallelujah. You are unique, I'm unique. But look for six seven days what? The sinful nature. Hallelujah. But I want us to pray now as I end this. Let's rise to our feet. We are going to pray in the order of Matthew chapter 10, verse 4. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say every negative patterning, every negative life order. As Kulumeswatani life order, a patterning, le negative, le active, lambilweniam, Kanziga Shegashe, Isuga Gumage. Nagu koko, long magu wa mag. Isuga gubabe, nagu mkulu, long babu wa babe. Le lampilwe ni ame. Nge kamalika chesu, nge akstopa from continuing in my life. Please listen to this. The bad things that happen in our parents and their bad behaviors, the devil repeats them in our lives. Do you believe what I'm telling you? If you are from a family, of parents who, who were not making it in life. You discover that you will also not make it. But I don't want to be too gener generic. 
don't want to overgeneralize because there are people who are generally okay, right? Even though their parents were not that okay. Most of them you find that because they've been elevated by good education. Am I communicating? Let me chip in this. If you really want to have a, a, a stress-free life when you are old, do these four things for your children. And everyone must hear me. Apart from us who are, whose children are already old, if your children are still young, do these four things for them to save yourself stress in the future. Number one, teach those that child or those children to fear and love God. It's a serious investment. If your child grows up knowing God, loving God, that child is a secure future. Number two, teach that child to love and respect people. If you raise a child who does not respect human beings, you are raising a monster. Are parents listening to me? Even if it's a grandchild, stay across the line. No, man, Help your daughter who you. you produced that child. Sit Teach that, that child to, to fear and love God. Teach the child, child to respect and love people. Number three, give that child solid good education. In the 21st century, people who are not educated are sufferers. Give that child not a good smartphone or good hairstyle. Give the child solid, good education. Help that child to educate and empower and equip himself or herself in line with jobs that are on demand in the job So that you don't have a child after paying thousands and thousands of rands or malangen in school fees, that child is sitting at home with a useless degree. Am I communicating to real people here? Every person, you know what I'm talking about. If you are not educated today and you can't get a good paying job, struggling will follow you. Give that child good education. Do everything in your power. Scratch. Make sure that child gets. I didn't say take the child to an expensive school. Don't take that child into a school. There are good schools that are public schools. I cannot even mention them. They are all over this country. But you as a parent work on that child. Channel that child correctly to a profession, a degree, a qualification that will help that child to have bargaining power in the job market. Am I communicating? Teach that child if you can even business skills. Number four. What do you teach that child? Teach that child to tithe and to give. Four pillars. Every parent must pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to invest in my children the things that the man of God is talking about. May I help my child to become well educated, to possess a good education, so that they will have bargaining power in the job market, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Did you learn something? Did I help you? Another way of, of defeating poverty is to acquire good education. There are people when they get their first job because they've been taken by multinational companies. First year salary is over 100,000. When you never went to school every day you are vibrating, oh Lord have mercy. Some of these things are irreversible. Because some people they don't have to go to school. Some students, when it's time for exams, now they want to pray. Some students, 
All the young people put your head on your head your hand on your head say father in the name of Jesus may I work hard, I work hard to become educated to get a good degree so that I get a good paying job may I not be foolish and play when I'm supposed to be learning and educating myself Sanba be Jehovah angabisi lima says student lotola thing ye skolweni ngiyodlala kanti kumele singa angiyafundza ngisecurisha le kusasalam ngoduba ngihluphekile ndo uthola umsebenti easy ngekuthi ngine degree less strong and i want to work on it now in the name of Jesus may God help all the young people in Jesus name amen hallelujah hallelujah Yeah. Hallelujah. So please help those children to do well. Matala baba sekemaya. Say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. We are now praying Matthew 15:13. My Matthew God. Matthew 15:13 na manje. Mm, stalifunza ngalipi version NIV. NIV humusho la khona. Say Father in the name of Jesus. I uproot from my life. Yonke i likeness le into lembi lengita pune ngakumake noma ngakubabe say father i uproot every bad likeness that i got from my mother's side or my father's side in the name of jesus the bible says every plan that my heavenly father has not planted will be what will be pulled out by what by its roots and babe i stop all negative repetitions ngi stop at pinzeka kwe my bad experiences amake ne ababe in their lives in the name of Jesus i stop the transfer of those bad experiences from my own life and i stop them by the blood of jesus pray like you are praying lambro hashana masaka le prahashena masaka pray like you are praying would you father if my father failed financially i stop repeat the repetition of that experience if my mother went through some many pains in her in her relationships i stop that repetition in the name of the lord if my father committed many blunders i stop the repetition of that in the name of the lord let's pray clap your hands and pray and say father i stop all repetition upinzeka of bad experiences bad experiences and bad things that happen in the life of my father the life of my mother i stop it by the blood the blood of jesus the blood say every every negative patterning tsani kwenda kwa satan uthathathe indlela etendeka kuma parents ham afune ukuthi phindza kimi i stop it in the name of the lord uthi konke lo sekuhlanyelwe kimi which is not of god in my life i terminate it in the name of jesus pray like you are praying clap those hands and pray say i will prosper in all things i will do well in every department of my life speak it prophesy say father i declare that i will prosper in all things then negative things that my parents experienced they will not be repeated in my life now that i'm connected to jesus uthi njengoba sengwa jesus manje onke la man negative experiences negative and bad happenings lokwente kakubatal bam i shut it i stop it clap your hands and pray i shut it i stop it i stop it even from my children uthi total deliverance total breakthrough in the name of the lord Nalima sakabaya tsanba benge kamal ka Jesu yonke i order lembi i order lembi kwendeka lokubi lokwendeka kuma parents ami i stop that order from repeating itself in my life clap your hands and pray uthi father now that i'm born again i will do well in the remainder of my years i will prosper declare it and say i will do well pray like you are praying for yourself uthi father will watch my life i will move monitor my life i will monitor the happenings in my life i will be vigilant uthi babe ngai gats impilo yami i will fight the good fight of faith i will stop every bad happening every repetition of bad things that happened to my parents satan you are a liar you will not repeat it in me you will not repeat it upon my children there shall be success in my life there shall be success in relationships success in marriage success in 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 finance
finances, success in general life. I will do well in the name of the Lord. Say, I will prosper in all things. Declare, pray, words never die. Father, I rise from every setback. And losses that I've experienced, which originate from my bloodline, I reverse them right now. I declare, I recover. I recover, I rise. Say, I recover, I rise. In the name of Jesus. Sickness patterns. Sickness patterns that are running in my family line. Like chronic diseases, diabetes mellitus, cancer, high blood pressure, arthritis. Logo family patent. I stop it in my life. Clap your hands and pray. All sickness that is family patent, sickness that runs in the family line, runs in the bloodline, and every patent you put in the family where you are born, people die young. Say, it won't happen to me. I shall not die young. I shall live my full lifespan. Now that I'm born again, clap those hands and say, I will not die young. I will not be killed before my time. I will not rise and fall in life. I will not succeed and then fail. Say, I will go upward and forward in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, my end shall be good. I will not have a bad ending in life. Pray that one. Say, my end shall be good. My life shall continue well to the very end. I will not rise and then experience failure. I will not succeed and then experience failure. But I will prosper and keep on prospering like Isaac. Now that I'm in covenant with Jehovah, in the name of the Lord, pray, prophesy, pray, 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 pray. Call upon your children, prophesy over your children. Yes, Lord, even our children will be great. Our children will do well. Our children will not experience our bad experiences. Our children will not blunder. Our children will succeed, Lord. Our children will enjoy the favor of the Lord. Prophesy in the house. Pray, pray, pray. If you've got children like boys, declare and say, all my boys will marry good wives. They will marry good spouses. In the name of the Lord, prophesy in the house. Lembro hashana masaka. Yes, shalina masukabaya. Ye labasaka bayana. Mantala babazeke bayana. Ushapakatabaya. Say by the blood of Jesus, I shut down all the repetition. Gupinzega of the bad things that happened to my father, to my mother, to my grandparents. In the name of Jesus, say I will not be killed before my time. Say I will not fail in life, but I shall ex experience sustained success. In the name of the Lord, say I announce to the four corners of the earth that all bad things that happened to my parents, my mother or my father, won't be repeated in my life. I shut them down by the blood of Jesus. Shut them down. Oh, I like what you are doing. Shut them down. Shut them down in the name of Jesus. Shut them down. Say, I'm a new generation of success. I'm a new generation of prosperity. I didn't hear you say, I'm a new generation of success and prosperity. Say, I will do well in relationships. I will do well in marriage. I want everyone to prophesy. Yela masukabaya. Lembra kapa zetemaya. Uta will keep on connecting with the right people. I will connect with good business partners. I will make good business connections. In the name of the Lord, I shall experience prosperity in all sides. I will prosper in all things. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that I will prosper in all things in the name of Jesus.